everyone, Jen from Stardust Wanderer Tarot. Today we are doing a walkthrough of the Hoodoo Tarot. So this is by Inner Traditions. Um, it is created by Tayana Lee McQuiller and the artwork is by Caitlin V. Fauzi. Fauzi. Sorry if I didn't get the names right. It's totally me. Totally me. I take full, full responsibility. So this is in, um, it, it slides out. Let me just show you because it is just like a slide out and the deck is sitting in there. Sorry. It's my own troubles here. Um, and then they are sitting in the, I'm going to try to do it without spilling it like that. There's the back, it's just plain back. And then we have our lovely guidebook. So, you know me, I love a good meeting guidebook because then I know there's lots of good stuff in there. So this is, um, it is it's saying 78 card deck and book for root workers. So if you were interested in hoodoo, what it is, how to work with it, what's involved with it, this book really, goes through so much. There's so much great information in here about it. So, um, you know, and it really does clear stuff up, um, as well, as far as, you know, because hoodoo and voodoo are different. Um, it's, it's definitely helps you to understand it, um, a little bit better. And that would be, you know, I think that's really an awesome thing, um, too, because, you know, the internet can be a scary place. So when you have, you know, legit people telling you what it is and we want to listen. So here we are. Um, and I also love that this is dedicated to her grandmother, Gladys. So shout out to Gladys. Um, so we have the, the table context here. So it's, it's broken up into different things. Talks about the culture, um, inheritance, it talks about getting to know hoodoo tarot, spreads and sample readings, and then it goes into the different um, arcanas and all of that. So the major arcana are called the elders, then the family is the court cards, and the community is the minor arcanas. So I really love that. I think that's um, really interesting too, um, the way that they set that up. So here we have the introduction to the culture. Like, what is it? Right? So... Um, there is definitely so much information here about it and what it is exactly, how to work with it. Um, it's really like, let's see. So just for an example, it has here, it says the reasons, um, there is the essence, the reality of what hoodoo is, but there are many ways one can define its composition. The oft-repeated and most widely accepted narrative categorizes hoodoo as a primar primarily African retention with Native American European influences. However, there that is only a theory and difficult one to prove. The reasons for this are several. And then it goes into all the different things. So it's, you know, really the conver convergence of all of the different religions. And this is, you know, kind of what came out of it. And a lot of their you know, any of the hoodoo, any religions really back then, and even native ones, they were all spoken. They weren't written down. So these are just things that were put, you know, the stories um, that were passed down generation to generation. Um, so let's see here. So it does really go into the different things, um, the origin of it as well. Um, and it's saying here, the majority of approximately 388,000 African people were shipped to North America, including Canada, between the 17th and 19th centuries, came from a variety of ethnic groups. Um, I mean, it's really crazy. Like, think if you really think about that, like, it's just, it's, it's insane. Um... So it says, these groups are also the ancestors of many, many black Americans who may have incorporated their knowledge into hoodoo, but today have no clue that they have this ancestry. So I really, you know, and I do love, I do love the history of this as well. Um, I personally have a lot of native 
Um, and I actually have a ton of, it, it's really from like Puerto Rico and I do know um, from Senegal, Africa, I have some ancestry and it's like, you can watch the progression of it all too. And it's, it's just, it, it, it blows my mind really when you start thinking about it. So it really gets you really thinking about all of that. Like as I was reading through this, that's what was going through my head. I'm just thinking about these people and the travels and the things they've gone through. But yeah, here they are still remembering their stories and, the, you know, their ancestors and bringing that all around. So this is, um, this talks about the forms of divination traditionally used in hoodoo. So we have um, claromancy, which is the casting of small objects, cardiomancy, which is cards, playing cards, um, astrology, augury, um, and this, that's through like just observing animal behavior to, to do that and then dream work. So this is all about getting to know the hoodoo tarot. So this is a, um, really great way how they use them, positive and negative community cards. So, um, it's just saying here too, like if you don't use reverse cards, different ways to use that, the images in them, um, some sample readings. I always think it's really helpful when they do that too and they actually add like a sample reading to it. Um, and then we have a couple more of those and then we go into the cards. So we have start with the elders. We have the elders here. And so they have the card here, it's all black. Um, I don't want to say it's black and white. It's more like sepia-ish, but I guess black and white. So it says the fool and he is the free man. And then there's a quote from the Bible, uh, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So it gives you the plant and then it gives you a, a description of the image and then it gives you the meaning of it. And then um, <clears throat> actually some questions to go with the card as well. So that is really interesting. That's really a lot of questions. Look at all these questions. That's awesome. So it goes through and they are different names. So Dr. Grant is the hermit here. Um, and we have uh, the big house is the tower. And it goes through. So then as we get into the um, minors, we have the daughter of sticks or the court cards. So that would be our wands. And then Ace of Baskets. So we have those. It tells you again, those have the um, the plant, the image, and the meaning on it. And some keywords. So it goes through there. And then um, in the end, on the back too, there's some suggested, suggested reading. So if you want to dive into this more, if you really want to know about it, you really want to maybe start doing some of these practices, this is a really um, great, great resource too. So I know that I am going to uh, dive into some of these. So um, here is the author. I love that picture. Both of those pictures, awesome. So yeah, these are, um, this is what we got here for that. And there's the back, some of the card images. So let's get to it. <clears throat> And I think I kept these in order. Pretty sure I did. So this is what the back of the cards look like. And off we go. Would help if they were not upside down. <laughs> I can't win it all. You know, it's, sometimes it happens. So I really love the, these cards are just so great for just some really deep work. Like if you're ready to dive in, then these would be really great um, to use for ancestor readings. Um, even if you're just doing some like shadow type work or journaling, even, um, I feel like the, they're very direct, but they're still in like in a gentle way. Kind of like your grandma that would yell at you for doing something, but then hands you a cookie, you know, right afterwards. <clears throat> So that is exactly like how I feel when I was going through these cards. 
And I love how they kind of have like that antique feel to them as well. I really do feel like, you know, you could definitely just feel the love in this deck too. I feel like that just a lot went into this and it's really, you know, I love when I can pick up a deck like that and just, you know, like this and kind of pick up on that right away because you just know too, like, especially if you are wanting to kind of do mediumship readings and that sort of thing, these cards are, would be really great for that. make sure they're the right way so I really do I'm excited to get to know these cards a little better for sure they did a great job on them Oops. so they are kind of standard card size the thickness is they are you know they're they're not super flexible but they're like a good shuffling Thickness and size are good. I mean, I'm going to say they're tiny. They're probably more like playing card size, possibly. I mean, don't totally quote me on that. Like I said, I always try to, I always think about this now. Like, oh, I should have looked up the size of them. It always happens. I love that one. They're just very powerful. That one's so cute. Oh my gosh. And I feel like too with, with decks like this, like there's so much to learn from. Like there's so much, you know, in your ancestry that you can learn from. And it's like, even if it wasn't positive, like you don't have to take that negative part of it, but you can still learn from it, you know? So that is our Hoodoo Tarot by Tiana Lee McQuiller. Hopefully I said your name right, hon. And then we have our artwork by Caitlin Fossey. There we go. Super cool deck. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.